We've come a long way. When we started seven years ago, you know, we put stuff up on the walls, screwed some pegboard to the walls, and when we showed up to the first competitions, we got destroyed. But the kids had made a robot that worked and could compete, and you know, they were delighted. We may have only had uh, one or two teams back then. Now we've grown to where we have uh, around 15 teams right now, and we're, we're now one of the top programs in Tennessee. I am Jacob Blackwell and I'm a junior at CCS. I came to this school as a freshman and by sophomore year I was like, I gotta get involved with something around here. And so people were telling me about robotics, I'd heard about it from teachers and other students and I had a few friends that were doing it and they invited me to come try it one day and I just kind of fell in love with it and I've been here since. A lot of the skills you learn in robotics are problem solving skills and I'm learning how to do things like research and learn from other people and so it's been great to learn kind of what that process is like, how to outreach to other teams to learn things from them instead of just trying to figure out everything on your own. So over the years, what ends up happening is the students, as, as they go through this process and they're learning more, figuring out more, they become the veterans and they become the old guard. We don't have team captains, but there are students who end up being the de facto captains because of competence and, and experience and knowledge and the younger kids end up looking up to those students and those students, those older students, end up being mentors to the younger students. And so as a program you, you build a body of knowledge, body of skills, and one of my favorite parts of it is watching the older students mentor the younger. My biggest mentor was Locke Fahm, who graduated last year, and so I know how much value he has to me and what it was like to know that there was someone I could go to when I'm confused or I'm stuck. And so that's something I really wanted to give back to the younger middle schoolers this year. And I'm really proud of um, really what these students have built because I'm an administrator and I'm a coach, but I'm not an expert in most of these things. It's the students who are figuring these things out and they're becoming the experts. And part of it is when you fail, they're absolutely your failures. But the other side of it is when you succeed, it's absolutely, unquestionably something that you succeeded at on your own. I, I think students really love that. 